If you're building a DIY project with maker pipe connectors and EMT conduit, you're likely going to need to cut that conduit for whatever it is that you're building. And we've been doing the maker pipe masterclass series and walking you through the entire process. Uh, we've talked about what EMT conduit is, what the connectors are, and we're going through the whole process of building. And this is a big part of that process. And I wanted to dedicate a whole video to the process of making a cut list so that you could get some more information and making sure that you're getting accurate cuts and measurements in your builds. There's really three main things that you want to keep in mind and we can really highlight that or one of them with the maker pipe T connector because this one highlights two of the connections that you're going to see really often in whatever connector it is that you're using. One of them is going to be the fact that you have through pipe connections which basically just means that this piece of conduit can run uh, continuously through the connector and you can essentially clamp the T connector and others um, you know anywhere along this piece of conduit even flush with the end. And then you have other connections like the bottom of the T connector here where that piece of conduit is going to terminate and you can't really get that any farther. And this is what you have to watch out for whenever you're creating a cut list. You don't want to forget about this and then go to have a measurement that's you know a full width and then forget about this and then that's going to add some length to the conduit and then your dimensions are going to be totally off and you're going to have to recut and you know maybe even rebuild your project. So you want to keep that in mind and you know just think about it as the connector adding length to the conduit and then figure that out. And I'm going to put a reference guide in the description that's going to have the outside to outside, the center to center, and then the inside to inside measurements. So you can quickly refer to that and figure out um, you know, which measurements based on the connectors that you're using. And uh, you know, that's just something to keep in mind. Probably the most important thing whenever you're making a cut list. Another thing too is you'll see with other connectors like the Maker Pipe 180 degree connector where you're going to have three pieces of EMT conduit. You're going to have one in the middle and then one on the outside. And just like with the T connector we looked at, you're going to have uh, this gap here that needs to be there so that the uh, bolts can go through the connector and you know securely clamp it around the empty conduit. And so that's going to add some length to your build. And again, just refer to that guide to see all the different measurements for the different sizes and the different connectors. Uh, but this is another thing that you want to watch out for. Uh, and, and kind of combining both of those things together, you can imagine if you've got a T connector on the outside of one end, and then on the other end, and then a 180 in the middle, you know, you've got this, this section being replaced with the connector. You've got this section being added on from the T connector on both sides. So you really want to keep these things in mind whenever you're building so that you get accurate measurements. So in this example, if you had, you know, say a two foot long span that you were expecting from the outside of the outside to your frame, you'd want to take that two foot measurement, subtract this section uh, that this is being added by the T. You want to subtract this section from the 180 and then this section from the T and then whatever you get there, that's what you actually want to cut your conduit to size. That's going to be the accurate measurement to get that desired dimension that you're after. And that's really important to keep in mind. Like I said, that's going to adjust depending on if you're doing outside to outside or center to center, just depending on what's important for you and your project, just check out that reference guide. And it's important to keep in mind that this is uh, for a lot of the straight angled connectors like the 180, the T, the 90, but you're also going to run into uh, cuts that you're going to need to make for other things like the 45 degree connector that I've got here. And this is a little bit more challenging to figure out the dimension for, obviously, because, you know, you've got this interesting angle here and then adding that, you know, length to the pipe. So what I typically recommend to do is instead of trying to figure it out ahead of time is just to put your main frame in place with those, uh, you know, standard connectors that we see often, like 90 degree connectors for cubes and things, and then essentially just put the the two pieces and two connectors in place loosely and then use, uh, you know, your tape measure you know, get everything lined up and then figure out what your dimension needs to be. It's a really simple uh, hack that you can do to figure out the dimensions and makes your cutting uh, a lot easier and figuring out those dimensions a lot easier. And essentially that is what you want to keep in mind whenever you're making a cut list, just these different things and it'll make your project go a lot smoother and you can figure out the dimensions a lot easier. Hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave those down below or reach out to us. And if you want to see more details about how to go through the whole process of building your DIY project with conduit connectors, check out the rest of the masterclass. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.